For the past few days, I've received calls from our clients abroad asking questions regarding the property demolition that took effect on Sunday, this past Sunday, here in Ekota, Lekki, Lagos, Nigeria. All right, so in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the reasons why Lagos State Government did that the property demolitions all right and then at the end of this video i will be sharing with you my personal advice regarding building houses here in lagos nigeria all right so please stick around watch to the end i'll be glad you do remember my name is peter twinnet from leckyparty.com my job is to assist you with the right real estate investment information so that when you're making real estate investment decisions be able to make the right decision so if you're ready let's go To begin this video, I want to first of all give credit to Channels TV, all right? The owners of the video I'm going to be attaching to this very video, okay? So please watch to the end, like I mentioned, watch to the end, and you'll be glad you do. And if you're yet to subscribe to my YouTube channel, please use the opportunity, click on the subscribe button below, subscribe to my YouTube channel so that when I post subsequent videos like this and many others, you'll be among the first to be informed. So watch to the end as I'm going to give my personal advice regarding building houses here in Lagos, Nigeria. Let's go. Structures built on the canal path in Etiosa local government area brought to ground zero. The Lagos State Commissioner for Environment and Water Resources, Tokumba Wahab and his team are to continue the enforcement of building law and more buildings are likely to go down as the structures have completely blocked the Kota Canal, causing flooding in the area. People that own these ones are like demolished. They don't have long head. You guys don't have two heads. They are all citizens and people that have contravened on the law. And it's still, it's still this brazen attitude of, we can do it, we can get away with it, and nothing will happen. That is where, that is why we are where we are today as a people. Some of the affected property owners appeal to the government not to carry out the demolition. The water has nowhere to go, leaving the estate flooded. But the state government insists on environmental law enforcement. This nuisance on this canal part, on the canal itself, must be removed. That's what we're just trying to do. We are removing the nuisance. And you must have noticed as we remove them, we're creating the canal parts, the channel for the water into the Kota River. We have to also take the hard stance and let them know that we are serious about the enforcement. It's sad that we have to pull down these structures. It's sad. But the truth is we can't allow them to stand. We have to make a choice for public good. That choice we've made, we've taken that decision that we have to enforce it to the letter. The team moves to the VGC area of Lekki and the story is the same. A particular property blocks the canal path. Take your demolition to both sides and take it to your lagoon. Okay, okay, take down. Just take it down. Take it down. Take it down. I can't compensate you for an illegality in the first place. You should even be compensating the government for letting me deploy taxpayers' resources to clear that path. The erosion will always be daring to come and pull down your property. But you're not the house, only the unique bathroom. So that's what we're doing. We're pushing back and we're going to push back irrespective of whose ox will be God. The Lagos State Government says it is determined to put an end to all forms of illegal act that may affect the safety of everyone. So from the video we just watched, you can see that Lagos State Government have actually given advance warning regarding building close to the canal all right so there was supposed to be a setback okay so my advice is whenever you are building in nigeria please make sure you use a registered engineer all right make sure the engineer knows their setback rules it's very important whether you're building inside an estate or an outside an estate make sure your engineer know the setback rules so that he's not he's not he will not be building close to the express or close to canal or there but there is always a setback to every property you are building. So please remember, it's very, very important. And meanwhile, while you are also trying to build a house here in Nigeria, anywhere in Nigeria, whether Lagos, but most people are Lagos, try and make sure your engineer or whoever you are using to meet with Lagos State Government get you receipts, get informations 
concrete information, reliable information of what is expected in that location. Let it not just be that, oh, some estate will say, okay, just be building, build, build, don't worry. We'll go and bribe Lagos State government. It doesn't work that way. You might, you might bribe this government, the next government that is coming, you might not be able to bribe the next government. So it's best you do the right thing, all right? So even if it requires you spending some money, spend that money and make sure you get the right information from the right engineer so that your house will not be demolished. It's not easy making money, all right? It's not easy. Most people are clients and our, for our Nigerians abroad, it's not easy making money and sending back home here and at the end, your property is demolished. So please take heed of this and it will help you greatly. Thank you so much for watching this video to the end. Thank you so much for always subscribing to my YouTube channel for buy properties from me. You are the best. Do have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.